If you're trying to find clients to build AI and automation solutions, this video is for you. I'm going to share three ways that I have gotten clients. And it took me a few months to kind of figure this out. So rather than you having to do it through trial and error, I just wanted to share my own experience and give you some tips to help you do it in a quicker way. And if you want to see more content like this, let me know by hitting the like button, subscribing, and dropping a comment down below because I read every comment and it helps guide the content on this channel. Okay, so here's the thing about getting clients. Number one, there's not just one way to do it. Some paths are faster, some pay more, and some the scheduling just kind of fits better with your life. But I've tried all three of these, and so I'm gonna give you the inside scoop. And if you stick around, I'm offering a bonus method, so stay tuned. Okay, so the first path is Upwork, so freelancing. And so what I did to find success here is number one, create a killer profile. And I'm gonna link my profile, not that it's you know the perfect thing out there, but it's been really successful for me. But I'm gonna link my Upwork profile down below. So if you wanna check it out, you can do so. Please don't try to hire me off of Upwork. But what I did is I created a killer profile. I made sure that all of my top accomplishments are you know highly visible in the very top of my profile, I had a good profile picture, et cetera, et cetera. So it's all very basic stuff. Make sure that if you are filling out your Upwork profile that you fill it out completely. Like every single thing, if it asks for an intro video, even if you think nobody's gonna watch it, make an intro video and put it on there. But after I created my profile and completely filled it out, then I just started applying for gigs, like three to five every single day. And not just, you know, sending an, a few sentences about why I should get this. I'm talking providing high quality content where I can send it to them and they can see the expert that they'd be getting if they worked with me. So for each and every application that I sent, I would send a written introduction, but then I would also send a Loom video. And I would make sure that in the Loom video, I'm going through, I'm introducing myself, talking about some of my credentials really quickly, and then going right into the meat of their problem. So, okay, I see you're having problems with this. It looks like you're using these tools. You don't wanna use these tools and you don't want the, the process to go here. Got it. So here's how I would address this problem. Then I would go into N8N and I would really just build it out in real time. This is how I would solve this problem. This is what the workflow would look like. And this is how it addresses all the specific points that you mentioned or all the specific tools you said you wanted to use or stays away from things you don't want it to do. This is how I would kind of address all of those points. And then I would kind of close it with, you know, I'm really looking to crush this project for you. I'd love to work together long term. Like that's always my goal, but I'd love to jump on a call and discuss this further. And then send that to them. And I got an amazing response from that. I landed one of the first gigs that I applied for. It ended up turning into a multi-month partnership and a five-star review, and it got me the rising talent badge. And you can earn that by getting a good review and working on a multi-month project. So, and all that badge means is kind of like a, a trust or like a, hey, this person is highly rated and they've worked with someone on a long-term project. But the great things about Upwork, you can figure out your own schedule. It's not like a nine to five, you know, it's not like a set schedule, generally speaking. And you get paid weekly, so that's really nice. And you could set your own rate. So literally, if somebody doesn't wanna pay you what you're asking, then you just don't work with them. But the tips that I would give you, like I said, number one, have a killer profile. Like, you can use mine as reference. Don't like copy it, obviously, but you just really want to have all of your expertise on display. Then number two, it's just a numbers game. Like send three to five applications on Upwork to various gigs every day without fail until you, you know, start getting calls or you start getting gigs. And send a Loom video, like actually provide value. I think that's a, a big thing that a lot of people miss. And, and I was hesitant to get on Upwork because I thought it was so competitive and there's no way that me, a no one with zero reviews and zero experience on this platform was ever gonna get hired. But I think that it's the application process. Like this is the first time that this client, this potential client is getting to hear from you. And so you can, you have the opportunity to absolutely knock you out of the park with how you present yourself. So if you're afraid that Upwork is too competitive or that you don't have the exact skills that are needed or whatever the fear is, get over that and just start applying because you only need to be able to solve one problem for one client to get your foot in the door. Okay, if you're getting value out of this, hit the like button, subscribe, and let's dive into method number two. Okay, method number two is the nine to five path. So this is obviously only for people who are currently working a nine to five, but if you are, you know, dream of freelancing or if you dream of quitting your nine to five, then this is for you. Basically what I did 
is I started learning about AI and automations, and then I started building things to fix problems at my job. So that means I was fixing things for my own role, like making my own life easier. And then once I started gaining confidence and I was like, hey, I'm seeing all these other problems around that I know are a pain in the butt, I bet I could solve them. And that's what I started to do. So I've been at my nine to five for a little over a year now. And in that time, I've saved us about 1500 hours per year and added an additional $400,000 in revenue. So that's pretty huge. And in that process, I got a raise and I now only have to work four days a week instead of five. So that's pretty dope. But if you want to see all of the exact builds that I did to earn this, you can click above and watch that video. But the cool thing about this is if you have no interest in like quitting your nine to five or freelancing, then that's totally fine. You can still use this method to earn a raise or earn a bonus. But if you are looking to start freelancing or you do want to quit your job, this is a great way to build your portfolio. So by that, I mean, you can build real world solutions and then have results to show potential clients in the future. And in fact, if you look at my Upwork profile, you'll see some of the videos that I have like showing past work. A lot of that stuff is from my nine to five. But the key is to find the most problematic, taxing, painful problems that your boss or your manager has and then go to them and say, hey, I feel like I can solve this for us. If I can save us, you know, X number of hours per year, can I get a piece of that pie? Or if I can add an additional, you know, $10,000, $100,000 in revenue, can I get a piece of that? And if your boss or manager has any sense, they'll say yes. And maybe it won't be a raise. Maybe it'll be a bonus. But the, the key is that you're building that portfolio and getting paid for it. And if you are working a nine to five and you need help figuring out where to start in terms of finding a problem to solve, you can watch this video above and get a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the exact process that I used. All right, if you're getting value from this, hit the like button. Let's move on to method number three. So method number three, I call the one-to-many demo path. And so basically what I did is back in April of 2025, I presented at the AI Insight Summit. I think on the day that I presented, there were maybe 250 people in attendance. I presented on a Saturday, so less well attended than the Thursday and Friday before that. But what I did was I built a demo of an AI agent that can autonomously respond to SMS messages from leads. Pretty basic, but the reason why I built that to demonstrate and to show people, hey, this is the power of AI, it can actually do the work of real humans now, is because I knew that there were going to be entrepreneurs and business owners in the audience. And that was probably primarily who comprised that audience. And so if you are going to do this method, always plan to cater to the lowest common denominator. And by that, I mean, what do all the people in your audience have in common? So for me, because it was a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs, they all need more customers. Like, Every business needs more customers. That's how they generate revenue. And so what I did in my presentation is I just laid it out. Like this is how you can generate more customers, follow up better with leads. Even if you have like an e-commerce store and you're not really interacting with leads per se, this is how it could apply to you, so on and so forth. So I did my presentation. It was 18 minutes. And then at the end, I offered a freebie. So here's like a free gift for your attention during my presentation and they scanned a QR code, they opted into my email list, and then I delivered their freebie. So I believe I had like 80 or 82 people opt in out of 250, not a bad number. But what I did is I just followed up via an automated email sequence and then had people who are interested in my services book a call with me, and that's how I generated a few clients. And that also means that I now have an email list of 80 or 82 people, whatever it is, that I can follow up with for future offers. Now, I was able to present at that event because I was in an AI consultant certification program, but you can literally find these opportunities by asking ChatGPT. Like, look for speaking opportunities or presentation opportunities, either virtually or in your area. And you could also just do a presentation or a demo in a Facebook group or a school community. Just find a way to provide real value for your audience and don't go in there trying to pitch everyone. Also, if you have a warm network, meaning you are connected to other people who are business owners or entrepreneurs, leverage that. If you have a really juicy LinkedIn, leverage that. Get people together, even if it's just virtually. Like, let's say you used to be an accountant, and so you have a bunch of other accountants that follow you on your LinkedIn or your Facebook or whatever it is. And so you're intimately familiar with the problems and pain points that accountants face every day. Build a demo that solves one of those really problematic pain points for that group of people, and then say, hey, you guys know how you have this really big, annoying problem as a group? 
well, I figured out a way to solve it on autopilot. Do you want to come and see what that looks like? Then blow them away in the presentation. And when you get to the end, say, so how much do you think something like this is worth? And people will throw out a number and then you'll say, yeah, it's actually worth that. But today, if you want to jump in and grab it, be one of my beta group, you can get it for 50% off. So instead of $5,000, you get 2,500 or instead of $1,000, it's 500, whatever. But the point being like you get a bunch of people together and it, then it's a numbers game. And yes, it did require a good deal of prep work for me, but I did the presentation for 18 minutes and then I got a couple clients out of it. And then that was well worth all of the time it took for me to prepare and do the 18 minute presentation. All right, hit that like button. And I'm going to tell you about the bonus method because you've stuck around this far in the video. So another way that I've found clients for AI and automation builds is by providing value in school communities. And I'm not talking about those annoying value posts that people do when it's really obvious what they're trying to do, when they're trying to peddle their goods and services, trying to get people to bite so that they can reel them in. Like, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about real value. So the way that I did it was sharing what I was learning, sharing what I built for a client and actually helping people that had questions with no pitch and no strings attached, no expectation for getting anything out of them. And the reason why this is valuable is because it positions you as the knowledgeable expert. It gives you visibility. But let's say you're in a photography school community because you're a, a photographer on the side and you figure out a way to automate lead generation for photographers. Go in and just give that away for free. Like the amount of people that I've had basically knocking down my door because I was able to build something for a client that I then shared just because I was excited about it, that I had no idea where they were even in the industry is unreal. So you never know who's watching. Also, I think it's just good karma. Okay, those are the three ways that I've gotten clients for AI and automation builds plus a bonus method. And I've seen all of them work, not just for me, but for the people that I've coached. These are results from real people in the AI Foundations community that participated in the 14-day challenge that I hosted in that community. And the 14-day challenge is just what it sounds like. It walks through all three of these methods step-by-step -step for 14 days to help you achieve success. And it's still available right now for community members. So if you're interested in going through that challenge, you can click the first link down in the description and check it out. And if you're interested in having me break down any of these paths more step-by-step, -step, drop a comment down below. Like I said, the comments is what guides the content of this channel. And if you're a business owner who just wants me to build something for you, click the second link down below, but be sure to hit the like button and subscribe on your way out. And I will see y'all in the next video.